So we got SSB today. A uh, little bit of deadlifts. But bro, you know the main reason why you're not where you want to be? Cause you holding off on that shit. Cause you scared. <laughs> you scared to fail. I don't know what you scared of, but you just scared. So yeah, we had SSB today and uh with Dez, but uh man, uh like I say, man, it be feeling so fucking good. YouTube, have you ever just felt so good? Like when you just found your groove? Like I was out of my groove, man, for for a little bit, you know, getting depressed and letting everything bother me. And now to where I am now is like I'm a hundred percent more thankful, you know. You gotta be thankful, I think, with every lift. So what I put in my mind now is take every lift as if I'm on a platform. So the more I've been doing that, the more I've been focused in and dialed in on my training and just focused and really not needing a reset on focusing. You know, I'm just flowing. So it's like you want to be in a flow state of mind, bro, just letting it be what it be and doing the work like with anything and getting out the way. So as you can see. The SSB really helps your upper back stay tight, and I can't complain about it at all because it's, it helped my squat a lot. Like, the heels was a plus, but everything that my coach been showing me has been a plus. We only had three sets of five today on the SSB, but um, I really, really like getting dialed in when I get these SSB because I used to suck. This is like, I never did them ever when I first started powerlifting, so like, this was like, it was a game changer and very thankful. Once again, like I say, I'm very thankful again. So it's like, it was real dope. If you want to take your squad up to the next level, I really, really think that you should use the SSB bar because from your middle back all the way up to your traps, it, it shows you that you got to have that tightness when you got the bar on there. You know, you got to be tight all the way down, you know, from use all three of the cues, four. Um, air, neck, brace, squat, you know, so you really want to have them down packed when it come down to it and getting in there because like now I see that how much my accessory lifts transfer over to my three big lifts and it's killer. It's killer. And, and I'll keep going, you know, so at the end of the day, this is very important for me right now. And I just can't wait to compete in November at Surge Classic because, like I said, I was telling this other person that wanted me to do a PA, Powerlift in America. Like, um, me and my coach, I, I wanted to know the difference between USAPL and PA, so he explained it. And I just think right now I'm going to go in this direction. And then later on, you know, if coach think it's something presentable that we could do, then we can. These deadlifts, man, was godly, you know. And it's, it's just everything is because I'm really locked in and I'm focused on what I'm doing, bro. I don't really give a fuck what nobody else is doing. So it's like you got to get to that point where you go get in your training and dial in. Like, stop making excuses. Like, the only reason why you keep gaining weight, the only reason why you keep looking the way you is because you're eating shitty. You're not doing the things that everybody else can't see. Like, you know, behind closed door, everybody don't know what everybody's doing. But you know, so like if you're not making it in life or not doing this or not doing that, you know why it's going down like that. And so that's something that you got to dial in on. Like I had uh, three sets of three fifty four five, and it, it was good. Like it was good. I used no belt because like I used to do five four five for five. Yeah, without a belt and. It got me there, but now, like, where, where my deadlift is now, it's 100% better. So, it's like I'm loving it. I got a high hip height. Um, and just keeping it at that, you know, getting them lats in the pocket and really engaging everything, you know, pushing through the floor, you know. Because if you're not pushing through the floor, then you really the quads not activated. You're not you're really not doing it. You're putting a lot of pressure on your back. It's bad enough. Like, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, but it's bad enough. That you, we got to use our back, but we got to use it correctly. You know, you want to have longevity when it comes to this game. You don't want to get hurt and then I never see you again. Like, there's plenty of power lifters, heavy lifters came in and out the game 
And that was it. That one lift did it for him. And now they, man, I'll never do that lift again. If if you notice, this is science. Once you break a bone or do something or injure yourself, if you never go back to using that bone again, it gets stiff. You know, that's the only thing. And I think it's a mind thing. Like me coming back from a pec strain. Oh, my God. Like, look at these Bulgarians, though. Just take a minute to look at my setup. I'm going to have a closer setup of how I'm doing it. But this is God tier level. You know, like, come on, bro. Like, that teardrop is necessary. Them quads, you got to you gotta activate them. You got to be you gotta be ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to have them joints. Man, listen, bro. Anything to increase the squat, the deadlift, or just my physique overall and more muscle is what I want. So, like, I just cut out all the sugars and everything because, bro, it really don't help. It really messes you up in the long run. And you don't need that. You want to be on a different level when it comes to this. So, that's all I'm saying. Like, you don't got to listen to me. Just pay attention to the facts when it facts of the matter. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're not doing these things, then how do you expect to be stronger? Look, at look, look, you see my setup? Oh, man. Got this from a gym goer, man. Listen, we be looking out for each other. This is next level, though, bro. Like, I've never been able to do Bulgarians, bro. And now that I do them, oh, my God. Like, squatting, they look like just my legs. Like, everything just looks so much better, bro. Like, I'm just so dialed in on everything. It's, it's a beautiful thing, bro. So, like, don't take your accessories for a joke, bro. Like, stop listening to other people and just, oh, I'm just going to do my accessories. Take your accessories serious, bro, because they transfer over into your old your lifts, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's essential. You think I want to sit here and do it? No, I don't. But, man, look at that. Look at them striations in, in, in my calf, man. Like, I'm just I'm just there. You know what I'm saying? My legs didn't got bigger. You know, I'm just really happy. And um, all I can say is lock in, bro. Ended off with some leg curls, man. 70. You know, everything d right now. So, you know, I might be able to take it up to – you know, 120, 130 next week. Who knows? If you, Even if they programmed or they not, but hopefully they is, you know. So attack them legs, man. Attack them fucking legs. You got to have some tree trunks on you. If you don't got no wheels, everything else don't matter, bro. You can have a big bench, but you can't get under that bar. It's crazy, bro. I'm looking at real-life lifters for the first time squatting to them. Oh, I never, I never cared for it. Yeah, because you never, you scared to put that fucking weight on your back, dude. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like this is where it's at, bro. If you're not putting this type of money in, stop talking, hang it up. You know what I'm saying? Go dress up, you know, because we out here putting the work in, bro. And, uh, yeah, I had two sets of this. And psh, every time it kills me, bro, every time it kills me. But them hamstrings, they be hammy in it. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, bro, lock in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, man. Look at me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Man, show some love. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment on what y'all probably want to see next. You know, next week, man, I think we're going we gonna to start. I don't know yet. I'm right now in the, uh, in the gray, you know. Ain't no gray areas like I always say, but I'm in that area. Love, guys. Don't forget to lock in. We had a good session today. Uh, D-Lo has been good, so I just can't wait for next week to see what the program is going to be. But overall, it was dope as hell. Got some good uh, SSB squats in, some deadlifts. Uh, nothing too major to worry about right now. Just uh, going through the motions and getting that fatigue off. So, yeah, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Get your ass out there. Stop being scared. Lock in.